The Truth About Life on Mars As humanity ventures into the cosmos, Mars has emerged as a prime candidate for future human colonization and exploration. With advancements in technology and a better understanding of the Martian environment, the dream of making Mars survivable for humans is becoming more realistic. In all the research on Mars, no evidence has been found to date that shows the presence of life on Mars. But, according to a recent news update decades ago in the 1970s, when the Viking landers became the first U.S. mission to safely land on and explore Mars, we may have been close. One scientist has recently raised the possibility that life existed in a sample of Martian soil from Mars. And then, in our mission to sniff it, we snuffed it out. Just like that. According to astrobiologist Dirk schulz makuch of the Technical University Berlin in Germany, an experiment to detect the signs of microbial life on Mars could have been deadly. This story is interesting. When scientists landed on Mars in 1976, the two Viking landers had a list of objectives. One of those was to perform a set of experiments designed to test the Martian soil for the traces of presence of life. After that, no experiments were performed on Mars. According to Dirk schulz makuch those experiments were poorly conceived. At the time, scientists assumed that life on Mars would be like life on Earth and thrive in the presence of water. They performed all the experiments with water. But, now researchers have learned that the atmosphere on Mars is very dry and life can optimize itself to thrive under very dry conditions. Change those conditions, and the thriving may very well stop. In an interview, Dirk schulz makuch explained. What would happen if you poured water over these dry adapted microbes? Might that overwhelm them? In technical terms, we would say that we were hyperhydrating them, but in simple terms, it would be more like drowning them. He further added that. Humans need water. Let's put the human in the middle of the ocean to save it. That wouldn't work either. So it seems natural to wonder, as others have, did these experiments detect signs of life that we dismissed? However, further investigations are still going on to solve this mystery.